Clean code is code that is readable, reusable, and refactorable. I'm going to show you how to write clean code in objects and data structures. This video is part of a series I'm doing based on an article by Ryan McDermott on clean code in JavaScript. Check the description for a link to the original article. When creating an object, it's better to use getters and setters to access data instead of just looking for a property on an object. This is going to make it easier to change your program later. It makes adding validations easier. It, it gives increased encapsulation on your object and a few other benefits. So look, let's look at this code right here. We have the function make bank account and when you are creating an object like this, whatever you return is what you're going to be able to access in the object. So here we instantiate a an, uh, bank account object and call it account and then we're going to see it starts with a balance of zero whenever you make a bank account object but we're going to then set it to 100 and then we can console.log that and you'll see that the balance is now 100 when it started as zero. That's the bad way to do it where there's no getter and setter you can just directly access the property in the object. Now let me show you the good way. We are going to create a variable here and set to zero. Anything that's up here that's not in the return statement is private so you're not going to be able to directly access this variable now. And now we're going to create a function here and another function. And then we are going to return just the functions. So I've created a getter function, get balance, and a setter function, set balance, and then I've only returned the function. You see, I did not return the actual property or variable balance. We've only returned the functions. That means these are the only things you're going to be able to access in the object. Anything under the return is what is publicly available to access in the object. So you can still get the balance by calling this function, and it's going, since this function is, is going to be inside the object, it can still access that variable inside the object. And we can also set the balance by doing balance equals amount. Okay, first I'm actually going to change these two com these semicolons to a comma and that doesn't need a one there. Uh, that was a mistake having the semicolon. So account.balance, instead of account.balance, we're going to do account.setBalance to 100. And we're going to actually, instead of making it equals 100, we're going to pass in 100. And then we're going to do account.get balance to get the balance. And it still says 100. So that is a better way of doing it using getters and setters. The next thing I want to talk about is that you should make objects have private members. So here's the constructor function for an employee object. This constructor function actually creates the initial object prototype, but we can add another property to the prototype, and this one down here is a function. So we create the employee object, but we're going to add to the prototype a get name function where it's going to return this.name. So remember, this is actually the bad way to do it. Whenever you use the word this and dot, and then you put a property name after it, this.name, this is creating a basically a public property that can be directly accessed. So this is not this is not really a private member, this is a public member when you use this.name. So let's see how this works. I'm going to uncomment this out. Let me put some parentheses on there. And if we run that, it's going to say employee name John Doe, employee name undefined. So let's go through this code here. We are going to instantiate a new employee object and call it employee, and we're going to pass in the name John Doe. So it's going to go to this function up here. It's going to, it's going to do this.name equals name. Then the name we passed in was John Doe. Then we're going to console.log. Now these are template literals. Just look in the description of this video to see a link to my other video about template literals. So we have employee name, and we're going to do employee.getName. So we're calling this getName function. Now then we're going to delete employee.name and if you console.log employee.getName again it's going to say undefined. So this is the bad way of creating uh, properties and, and members of an object because it's easy to do something like the deleting it or you can change the name really easily. We want to make it a little harder to change the name. So basically I'm going to delete this whole section here and we are not even going to use the this dot notation because that creates a public property that can be easily accessed and deleted. So we're going to do this.
So we're passing in a name, but we're not assigning it to a property. So it's still stored in the object, but it's private, so it cannot be directly accessed. But we can access it using this function that's returned. We're returning the getName function that's going to return the name variable that's within the object, but it's not a property of the object. So let's look at this down here. Now we're again going to do create a new employee uh, called employee. We're going to pass in the name John Doe, and we're going to call get name. Well, let me just run the, this, and we, we'll see how it's different. So you can see, look, employee name John Doe, employee name John Doe. Remember, last time the second name was undefined. But when we try to delete employee.name, well, there actually is no employee.name. We did not create that property in the function. So this is going to be a better way to create an object so the members are private and you can't accidentally delete it or change it directly. You can only do it through the functions. Well, thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe. And remember, use your code for good.